Hello everyone and welcome to modding Minecraft with Monkey Man. Learning to mod that is. This is another learn to mod video and it's been too long. It's good to get back into it. As you can tell from the title, this is obviously about getting your learn to mod mods on um, single player. Um, we all know that if we go multiplayer we can go into the learn to mod server and use your mods in there but sometimes, I don't know, you just want to play offline or you know, you want to have it on your own computer rather than joining their servers. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you how to do that. Um, I will stay right at the start now um, that it's not actually going to be in single player. It's not going to be in one of these worlds. We do have to create a server to do it. It's not really the easiest things, but I'm going to take you through it. It's going to be nice and simple. Don't let the word server ski you though. It is just on your own computer and you can play offline. You don't have to be on the internet. You can see here I've done it before. Um, they're not connected at the moment because I haven't turned it on because I'm going to show you guys how to turn it on. Also worth pointing out that I am of course assuming you have already made the mod before you've d watched this video. I've already made a castle mod that I'm going to use so um, you should make that in learn to mod, test it in learn to mod and then you can bring it over to your single player stuff. Um, so stick with this and you'll see how to do it. We shall jump straight into that I reckon. So what you want to do is, I tried to minimize that, it did not work. What you want to do, jump onto the old internet here. Obviously I've got my learn to mod account open because we're going to need to grab a mod at some point. But we want to first go to this web address which is down in the description below. I'll give you all the links you need and some, some instructions there if you get confused. Um, so we just want to download this, there's a little download button at the top, nice and simple. I've already downloaded it actually, so I won't do that, but don't worry about the screen, just click download anyway and you'll be fine. As I said, I've already done it, here it is, it comes as a nice little zip file. So what I'm going to do is unzip that, extract all, you can choose the file, I'm going to go, let's, let's do this, learn to mod video, yeah, um, yes, that's fine, we don't care, Just just go for it. Um, so that will just take a few seconds to extract there. We'll skip past it. Um, while this is loading actually, it's a good time to say that I am on Windows 7 as you can see here. But the same thing should work on other operating systems, Windows 8, Windows 10, all that sort of stuff. Um, possibly even uh, Mac, I'm not sure, or Linux. I have not tried those but I'm pretty sure it will all work pretty similar. So you should not run into any troubles with that. This is going to be done in a second. Here we go. Okay, so it's given us this folder here. There's a few things we want to do before we get set up. That's Mac, so I'm not on a Mac. I'll get rid of that. It's just taking up space. So we're not on it. So if you're on a Mac, obviously you, that's that's what you'd look at. So now the next thing we want to do is probably so might as well do this next. We'll come down here and get server properties. Because we, as I said, we want to do offline. You can, of course, make this an online server and get your friends to do it. Get your friends on there, but I don't want to. So this is server.properties. I'm just going to... You can change heaps of properties in here, like spawn protection, game mode, force game, oh, there's game mode there. Um, PvP, you can turn that off. All the sort of server goodness. What I am looking for here, though, is online mode. I'm just going to play offline. Just you know keep things simple so we'll get rid of that we'll come back to notepad plus plus later notepad plus plus is great if you guys don't have it get it but you can use anything any text editor honestly it doesn't even matter um, I'm not I'm not gonna even bother right now um, I'll link you guys notepad plus plus if you don't have it it's good um, next thing we want to do is we do actually have to download one other thing so we'll come over to this website again it will be in the description so that's no problem. Um, just click that, it'll download. I'll, I'll do it even guys to show you. Oh look, you can see it on the bottom here, I've already done it. Yeah, that'll download, cancel, because I've already got it. We'll just get rid of that. I've already got it. Okay, wait, no, we need we need that. So we keep that open. Here's the script craft. Script, script craft. Script craft. There we go. Okay, so <laughs> making a video I need to be able to say these things, eh? otherwise you guys are going to think I'm, I'm a dick. You guys probably already think I'm a fool, but it's alright. So, scriptcraft.jar, you got that. Into the plugins. Easy. Into the plugins. Simple. But what we want to do is delete this one. Because this is an old version, the 1.0. 
um, we've just got Scriptcraft like 3 point something so we'll delete the old version because it no longer really works we've got this Scriptcraft so there we're sorted um, now we want to jump into perhaps some things that are a little bit more complicated but don't let it scare you away so we're going to go down to the start menu and type in command to get up command.exe okay if you guys didn't see that oh command command.exe here on all Windows devices we have this um, I don't know like a terminal or something on other operating systems but I'm not going to worry about that so I've put everything on the desktop deliberately to make this step easy okay I suggest you guys do the same you should see something like this users and whatever your username is on your computer okay sorry folks I was just doing something a little bit stupid there but I think I figured out what I'm doing what we want to do first is get to the desktop so we'll go to the desktop here we go. I just clicked tab to auto fill in but you should just you can just type it all out CD desktop so CD is changing the directory if you guys even know what I'm talking about but it doesn't matter if you don't just you should be able to copy this put it on your put the folder on your desktop that we originally downloaded so there we go I called it learn to my video we're going to go into that folder now okay so we'll, and then we should go into script craft server so this is where you want to this is what you want the last part of your path which is what this is you want the last part of the path to be script craft server and that will be sorted. We'll go into the scriptcast server. Okay, sorry. Yes, we will go into the scriptcast server. And we want to look for this really weird name. Here we go. Spigot.jar. I'm not really sure why it's called that. And we just want to execute that. And in order to do that, we type in this command. Again, it'll be in the description. You can just copy and paste. Um, actually, you might have to right click to click paste. Control V might not work. So just just type it out honestly it's not that long and we'll type in spigot.jar so we'll execute that and that is launching our server which is quite exciting quite exciting indeed we don't have the mod yet that's not to worry we're just going to set up the server first and you can see it prints out a whole bunch of jargon um, that's alright it does say however I will point out a couple of things oh yeah don't worry about this this is just preparing everything for your server it's fine um, and at the end you should see loaded NPCs and timeout, that sort of stuff. But what we got to do is scroll back up. What we really are looking for though is here starting Minecraft server on this number, okay? Check this number. It may or may not be the same. It should, it might be that number, which would be convenient, but just write that number down. We're going to use that number in the next step because the next step is actually getting into Minecraft. So uh, here we go. I just opened up Minecraft. We're going to go multiplayer. And what we're going to do is we're going to, um, what am I going to do? I, you can direct connect, and what you want to do is type in this, okay? I'll delete it to make it easier. What you want to do is type in localhost, and then that number that I just told you to write down, okay? So that was my number. Your my number might be slightly different. So localhost, colon, um, the number that you looked up in the last step. And you connect, and then we are in our Minecraft server. How cool is this? And you guys should see some weird pigs, see some testing pigs. I'm sure you guys will get the same level. I think some of these, yeah, there's a follower over here. Hello, piggies. There's lots of followers. They don't actually follow you, though, so I'm not really sure <laughs> what the story is there. That's fine, though. And you will find that you can't break blocks because of the safe zone or whatever it was in the properties. So if you go far enough away, we can, of course. It's a normal... Minecraft world we can break a block um, oh one thing I did forget is and you guys will probably want to do this is to make you guys make yourselves OP you want to be super strong no you want to be operators so you want to go OP and then your username so hopefully you guys can see that easy enough OP and then your username that's my username there do that and I'm OP'd and if you go into the Minecraft world it does say actually down the bottom here in the chat OP'd monkey man oh wrong button, that button, there we go, OP'd monkey man, I'm now OP and I can do things like change the game mode and all the good OP stuff, I just want to be able to fly around, that's why I'm doing that, so we're in creative now, um, then, so there we go, that is your server, but of course we want a mod on our server, alright, so the next step we're going to do is actually get the mod, so what we want to do is go to this folder here so this is the original folder we downloaded we've been in this folder many times this is where we saw the spigot 
Okay, so what we're going to do is go into SpriteCraft. So if you've done it right, you'll see this folder. If you haven't done the previous steps right, you, may, you might not see that, and that that's a bad sign. <laughs> Means you need to go back and try some of the previous steps again. But we should see that, and we should be able to go into that, go into plugins as well. So this is where we're going to keep all our mods. Where we're going to put all our mods, and what I want to do is just to keep things tidy. I'm going to create a my mods folder. So that just that's just for keeping things tidy. You can't just put it right in here, but what you want to make sure you do don't do is is change any of these other these other things here. So we'll create our own folder so we know that we're safe and to edit anything that's in this folder. Um, and we're going to create a new text document. Um, this is going to be called Castle because I'm going to be using a Castle mod. Um, it needs to make sure that it has .js on it as well rather than anything else. So it needs to end in .js. It gives you a warning saying, you know, make sure you know what you're doing. We do know what we're doing so we'll just say yes to that, it's fine. Because what the .js means is that it is a JavaScript file and JavaScript is the language that um, these mods are written in. What I'll do now is jump over into Learn to Mod. This is the Learn to Mod we're all familiar with, hopefully. This will be no problem. It should be here somewhere. Castle. Okay, so we're going to look at this. Now, this was written in Blockly, which is fine. But as I was saying before, we actually want the JavaScript. So this is actually quite a big mod here. There's lots of stuff going on. That's all right. That's all right. What we want is the JavaScript, as I said. So we click this little button, and it'll take us to the actual code. Um, which, you know, it does not matter if you do not understand that. Do not be scared by the code because I'm not even going to look at the code. I'm just going to go Control A, Control C. So we'll copy all of that. That's what it does. A, Control A selects everything. Control C to copy it. Now we will go back to that new file we just created. This new file. We want to open this up. Again, we'll go to Trusty Notepad. Doesn't matter what you use, really. Does not matter at all. Um, we'll chuck that all in there. So Control V is all I did. Or you can right click paste you know, basic stuff. Um, again, I'm not going to look at that. Control S, I'm just going to save it, or, you know, save button, whatever. Easy peasy. That's done. That is our code. It's all there. It's written. One thing to make note of when you're at this point is um, the mod does actually need to work um, in Learn to Mod for it to work in um, single player, obviously. So definitely test it before before you, um, you try and get it working in single player. Okay, now what we should just be able to do, so it's castle.js, remember that name, because what we're going to do is jump into Minecraft, jump into Minecraft, find a nice open area. Um, now in order to run that, we'll just type in slash js castle, lowercase, then open the bracket, close the bracket, click enter, and that should be running our mod. And there you go. <laughs> Look at how great that is. It's just it's just popped up a massive freaking castle. So this was the mod that was made and tested in Learn to Mod. And now it is in our own private little server, which is essentially just a single player world. Look how great that is. How quickly we just built a um, a castle in our in our world. Totally freaking awesome. Totally freaking awesome. That is that is it, guys. You've just made a um a mod in single player your own little server it's offline you know or online you know you can choose if you're if you can handle it you can put this online get your friends to play but then you might as well just go on the learn to mod server i'm not sure um but yeah and you can you can of course keep doing that you can add more mods as many as you like i'll show you that command again just in case you wanted to know i'll build a so it's slash js and then just the name of the mod file and brackets. And there we go, it's building a castle on top of my castle. Because one castle is not enough. We need some castle inception going on. Castle inception. Castle inception. I like it. How great is that? <laughs> How freaking amazing is that? Okay, a couple of things I just want to say at the end of this video is one of them, whenever you go into this world, you're going to have to start up the server before you do that. You have to turn on the server, which was all these command prompt steps we did. So you have to find it, and then you have to run the jar. Um, it is possible if you're smart to to work out a way to sort of nerdy, I guess, um, work out a way to do that easier for you. But maybe I'll make another video to do that. At the moment, you just have to go through these steps to turn on the server, which really is not too bad. 
The other thing I wanted to point out is, of course, we direct connected to that. Um, as with any servers, you can, of course, add the server. So you can say maybe my script craft or my learn to mod maybe. Let's just let's just learn to mod, and then of course it's the same thing as you would with the direct connect your own number there of course and that will that will create that and you can just click on that um, whenever you do that previous step you need to make sure that you do that command prompt stuff first this uh, video is thanks to Tamara who commented on one of my older videos asking me how to modern single player hopefully this answers it um, for you Tamara and um, I'd be glad if anyone else is any, has any questions I do enjoy making these videos, so please do not feel afraid to ask. Hopefully I'll be able to answer it for you. That's it for this video though, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye.